Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the dev kit. Now I know this video has been a long time in coming and this past week I have just been spending time to research and figure out how to use the dev kit. So today should be an intro to the dev kit and we'll go over some basic topics. So to start off, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to even use the dev kit. So what you want to do first is go to the workshop, go to the editor, and then when you select on one of your custom maps, I'm going to be using test map because that's the one I usually use for this kind of thing. You should see edit, that's using the normal editor, edit uh, with dev kit in the parentheses, and that's going to be the one we want. So initially after loading into the editor, um, you w it'll look pretty much like a normal map, except you won't really have any sort of GUI to work with. And let's just go over the basics about how to move around. They're going to be very similar to the normal editor, but they're a little different. So first off, uh, if you hold right click and if you use the arrow keys, that is going to be your main way to move around in the dev kit. And um, along with that, if you hold down both the right and the left click, you can move around but only in one plane. So if you guys understand how planes work, um, it, it'll only allow you to move in a two dimensional space depending on where you're looking. So if I hold it down here, I can only move you know, up, down, right, left on this singular plane. And you know, it's, it's kind of useful for if you're trying to move across the top of a landscape or if you're trying to get a good cross section of something, for example, like this, you're trying to get like a cross section of maybe this house or something. But uh, you know, that's sort of an option for moving around as well. Now, I think by default when you're moving around, um, the, the speed is actually very slow, um, probably something like this. And the way you change that is using the scroll wheel. If you scroll wheel up, you'll move faster, and if you scroll wheel down, you'll move slower. Now, this is actually pretty nice um, because you know you can get very precise with how fast you want to move, and the speeds at which you can move are pretty crazy. And this just allows you to get across maybe large maps or something way quicker than with the normal editor. So that's pretty much it for the movement. But let's get into where we can actually see the rest of the dev kit because right now we don't really have anything to work with. So the way to actually open up the dev kit is by pressing the tilde key. It should be the one right below your escape key in the top left of your keyboard. So once you hit the tilde key, uh, I think by default you start out with nothing, something sort of like this, and um, you pretty much have to open up all the windows you want. And so that's pretty much what I'm going to be going over today is some of the basic windows and how to arrange them because that's pretty much the best way to start making a map with the dev kit is you need to arrange them properly so that you can be familiar with the workspace. So to start off, um, there's a couple good tabs up here to know about. So we've got the edit tab, file tab, windows and help. Um, help actually has a sub menu with a bunch of guides and forms. If you click on here, it should open up the steam overlay uh, if you have that enabled. And this menu could potentially get you some help uh, if you've got some questions about how to use some stuff. Um, in terms of the windows, this is where we're going to be mostly getting our tools and all of our panels and all the windows that we're going to be using. And um, let's start out with the viewport window. Now this is going to be one of the better windows to use. This one pretty much just shows you what you would see when you're playing the game or what you'd see in a normal editor. And it, the controls are the same in this viewport as compared to the other one. And if you actually want to switch between those two, you can just hit tilde again and you get the full screen viewport. So another good window is the hierarchy window. Now this window pretty much shows you everything that you have in your current uh, dev kit editor. So anything you add will be in here. Now as you guys can see, I've got some kill volumes. I was messing around with some stuff and all of this will show up inside of this hierarchy. Now, it's pretty annoying right now because you've got to switch between the viewport and the hierarchy. And there's actually a good way you can organize these and set them up so that you can have small spaces for each one of these windows. And this is how you do it. What you've got to do is grab the top part of the tab and immediately you'll see a bunch of these orange sort of areas. And if you want to select and drag it out, just drop it in the middle and it'll create its own little window. So if you want to do this, that's perfectly fine and that's another way to organize it. But if you want to snap it in real nice, all you have to do is drag the top over to one of the sides and it should snap it into a half of the page or a half of the window. And so now that you've got it like this, you can reorganize it to whatever size you need it. All right, another good window is the inspector window. So we're going to grab this one out here. And this one is pretty much used for inspecting objects. So I'm going to arrange this one a little differently. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom 
and so now we've got um, another different window there and what you can start doing with all these windows is let's just grab another one maybe like the asset browser is you can start stacking these on top of each other so for example we can switch now between the hierarchy and the asset browser and this window and whatever works best for you is what you should use here so that's about all I wanted to show you guys for this very first video uh, this should get you at least introduced to the dev kit and will give you a good place to start messing around with stuff I will continue to upload videos about the dev kit um, it'll probably be its own mini series really because there's a lot to it there's a lot of windows and there's a lot of tools and there's a lot of things you can do with this that you cannot do with the normal editor um, one last thing I do want to show you guys is how to exit out of this because this was the main deterrent for me actually using the dev kit initially. I didn't know how to exit out of the dev kit. And so this is how you do it. Um, so actually before we get to that, uh, something you might want to do is dev kit save container. And that'll pretty much, uh, you want to press save down here. And that'll save what you've been doing in the dev kit editor. That is the equivalent of saving your world after you're done editing something. So make sure you do that. And also under that same file tab, you've got the exit key. This is actually how you exit the editor. Now, as you guys will notice, once you exit, uh, it's pretty glitchy actually. It almost breaks your game. Um, you still have these editor windows and stuff up. Um, I don't really know why it's bugging out like that for me. If it's not for you, please let me know in the comments. But this just could be a bug with the editor, and once you reload unturned, it'll disappear. So don't worry about that. It's not really permanent, but uh, after using the editor, you might want to reload your unturned game. So anyway guys, hopefully this explained a lot for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you all later. Listen.